Hey, hey, friends. Hello, hello. Joey here. And I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit on the December slump, as some people likes to call it. <laughs> Uh, I have been having some of my pet pros, uh, they've been reaching out to me and they're like, oh my goodness, what is wrong with December? It is so low. It is just not what I'm hoping for. And so if you are feeling this way, definitely tune in. And because I'm going to be giving you guys some, hopefully some hope and some tips and some tricks of things that you can be doing to help you make your December the best that it can be. So if you are tuning in live, make sure you say hello. Let me know where you are tuning in from. And if you are hitting this re on the replay, definitely uh, let me know. Use hashtag replay. And how you guys are feeling with your December. So I know for me, historically, December is usually a little bit slower. And I'll be completely honest. It's, it's because I'm usually very distracted. Um, Alex and I usually have a couple parties at our house. We've got to clean. We've got to do all the things. And so we just kind of have to get things ready for the holidays. And then it's just, you know, I've been working hard all year. And I kind of want to just relax a little bit. Now, I will say that I never, ever completely check out of my business. So that's one of the tips that I will be getting into with you guys today. But know that if you are feeling like it is, uh, you know, we're nine days into December and you're feeling a little bit sluggish, know that that can be normal if you think about it. People are out holiday shopping. You message them, say they see the message, maybe they even check it, and then maybe they're starting to do a reply, but then their kid starts to like be doing a playing with a toy that they shouldn't be playing with, and so they get distracted, and then they don't go back into the message. Or maybe they are um, cleaning their house, and you send a message, and they don't respond for a couple of days because they're really distracted with a lot of things. Be thinking on, okay, I have people that I'm reaching out to. I'm doing what I can control. And that's what I want you to really be focusing on. What are those income producing activities that you can control, which is only yourself? You have zero control if someone replies to you, if maybe they left you on red, if maybe they don't even check the message because they're busy. So none of those results or anything that you can control. But you can control how many people you are reaching out to, how many posts that you're making. Are you getting into your stories and sharing about the products that you are using? So those are the types of things that you can control. So that's what I really want you to focus on because I know it can get dis discouraging when people aren't replying, if they're not responding, if they've read your message and then, hey, Carrie Ann, thanks for popping in. Um, you know, I know it can get discouraging. I've been there. I've been in Pawtree for seven years. So we have all had Decembers that are maybe not as great as we want them to be, or maybe not as great as November. You know, that's when most people are doing their shopping. So I'm not saying that expect zero sales in December by any means, but I just want you to focus on the things that you can control, which are your actions and how you respond to the actions of other people. So um, that was my first tip. So the second tip is making sure that you are planting seeds. Like use this time in December where maybe we are doing some more, um, like we're going to be at like just reaching out to people saying, hey, how's everything going with you? Do you have a lot of, I know it's been a while since we've chatted. How are your holidays? Are they really crazy busy? Do you have a lot of holiday parties? Just be creating that like chit chat with people. Be talking and not, I don't even want to say like planting seeds, but just nourishing your network. Because if you are in Messenger or if you are going through on Facebook or Instagram and you are replying to people's stories, you are uh, giving good quality comments on their posts, what that's going to do is it's going to drum up the algorithm and it's going to show your posts to those people. So use this time to be making that list, planting those seeds for people that come December, January, February, they're going to see, okay, I, I see more of her posts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Carrie had that, uh, she was talking about that anxiety for traveling with my dogs. So we're going to be having some, uh, we're going to be uh, taking our dogs on a road trip 
So I'm, I got to reach out to her because of something that she saw, you know, uh, two months ago that you had posted about. So be making sure that you're doing those income producing activities, making sure that you are creating that list of people that you can be nourishing that relationship. And again, just be sorry, I'm pet sitting and there's a dog that loves to bark. So occupational hazard here. <laughs> but make sure you're planting those seeds, but also making sure that you are keeping track of the people that you are uh, reaching out to if they have a dog, if they, um, hey, Kylie. Sorry, she's cute, but she's loud. Um, <laughs> uh, making sure that you're uh, like getting that list of people that maybe they have pets and you didn't know that they had a pet. So you have this continuous list of people that you can be nourishing, that you can be just reaching out to and not being a spam bot by any means. We don't want you being like, hey, it's Christmas time. Like, let's get your, some, your pets some stuff. You know, we want you to be very genuine. We want you to be reaching out and creating those relationships. Next tip I have for you guys, too, is most likely you're going to be going to family functions, right? Like you just went to some Thanksgiving stuff. I'm sure you've got different holiday parties. Maybe it's some with your friends. Maybe it's some with your family. So take this time. Don't be bashful about your business, okay? Okay? Don't be bashful. And if somebody asks you, hey, what's new? Don't be like, yeah, you know, not much. Like, don't do that. That's bad. Bad pet pro. <laughs> what we want you to be doing is be talking about the great things that are going on in your life. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, work's going pretty good. You know, it, it's it's a job, but, um, you know, go, things are going all right there. The house is, we've got some things going on and um, we've got some more projects that we want to work on. And then, yeah, I've, I've started this new new business and I'm really excited for it because it's, right, it's about pets. It's right up my alley. I'm super passionate about it. It's all things pet nutrition. And and I, I absolutely just love what I'm doing and the community is really great. And the person's going to be like, oh my goodness, she lights up about this. And they're probably going to ask you more about that. Now, I will say, now is not the time to be like word vomiting and trying to get sales at the Christmas party. Do not do that. I mean, unless the person's like, no, I need that right now. Like, can we order it right now? Like, I need that tomorrow. You know, unless someone, the person that you're talking to is like, I got to have it. But if they are asking you questions about it, definitely go into that. But do not be going into your family parties expecting to be selling to every single one of your friends and family. And I even encourage you to, if somebody is asking you like different questions, I'm like, oh my goodness, well, do you have anything for anxiety? Like we have this uh, party coming up and my dog and my, or my cat always just gets a little bit anxious when we have people over. Do you have anything for that? And you can be like, oh my gosh, yeah. What's your, um, I don't think I have your phone number. What's your phone number? And what I'll do is, because uh, we're doing family stuff. So what we'll do is we, I will send you some more information tomorrow. Why is this not? Come on. Focus. Uh. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure why this is doing this. I'll try it again. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I don't know why it's doing that. I don't even know how to make it. Ugh. That's terrible. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Technology. Technology. All right. So one of the things that, and so you can say, well, yeah, what's your phone number? I will, uh, I'll text you some information about it tomorrow. And then that way we can definitely talk more about your, your dog's allergy or your dog's anxiety and that sort of thing. So that's what I encourage you guys to do is just making sure that you are, you know, getting the information to people that they're wanting, but don't be expecting and don't be like, well, yeah, if you want some, we can just order it right now. Like you're at the family stuff and you don't want to be the spammy spam bot. You know, you just want to be offering solutions to people, but then be like, yeah, I can send you some information about it. Is it, do you want me to email it to you, text it to you? How do you want me to, to give that to you? I can give you a call tomorrow. So that's, and you're, you'll have a better, um, when you're walking into the room at the family functions, people aren't going to be like, oh my goodness, here comes Joey and she's going to try and pitch me on her newest thing. Like, don't do that. Just be a regular, normal human and honor that you are there to spend quality time with your family. Now, if they have an issue and, and be talking about paw tree as well, but not in a like, hey, do you need anything? I can help you. Like, let's get your order today. All right. 
So those are some tips on how to help your December be better is making sure that you're still showing up in your social media, talking about the products that you are using and not and not being a super salesy, you know, spammy person. Just be sharing what you're doing. Like I did that and um, I got an order for Chillax. I was talking about how my cats don't like when I have people over for a family party, but we're going to have a family party. So that's what I talked about. I said, this is what I use. And then I also used a story of one of my customers who's traveling with their dog. And um, I roped that into the same Facebook and Instagram story that I was doing and said, yeah, if you're traveling this uh, this holiday season and your dog is crazy or gets very anxious in the car, like, let me know. Let's chat because I can help you with that. And then one of my friends reached out yesterday. Well, she went onto the website. I reached out to her today. And I got an order for Chillax. So if you are showing up, if you are uh, following up with your leads, if you are adding new people to your network every single day, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, TikTok, all these things, be adding people into your network. And then you're doing your job of showing up with the, the pet education, then you will be able to rock out your December and set yourself up for January. So I saw a thing where it said that most people are open to doing some sort of like new way of making an extra income in January. They're like, oh my goodness, I just paid so much for Christmas. It's on layaway. It's on the credit cards and I got to get this paid off and I need to find some sort of way of making some new money. So if you are planting those seeds or if you are creating those relationships in all of December, Showing that you are a normal human that cares about people. Hey, well, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Do you guys have a lot of holiday parties going on this this year? That's all you got to ask. And you can just be starting the conversation. Who knows where the conversation is going? But asking questions about other people when you are uh, creating this list and creating a um, just a, talking with people and planting seeds. Then come January when you are talking about, hey, uh, you know, we, I have this business and it's paid for Christmas or I have this business that's paying for my, my gas every single month or it's paying for my groceries, then they're going to see that and they're going to go, oh my goodness, I need to do what she's doing or they're going to reach out to you. So there are my tips to rock out December, guys. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. I have two family parties this weekend. <laughs> going to be a little bit crazy because one's at my house and I'm pet sitting, but if you guys have any questions, definitely pop those in the chat. I will see if I can make sure you tag me so I can see that because I don't always get notifications of it. But you can always reach out to me as well. So let's go rock out December. Let's earn some new dog food. Let's get some new PV. And let's be a normal human that just likes to, you know, talk with other people. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.